Fashion Week. The Fashion Week. What's up? Welcome back to the Fashion Week podcast, man. Yes, it is Arnold and Lucas here. Yes, and um, you forget our guest, but never mind. We'll introduce <laughs> you later. Yeah, we'll introduce he feels you very later. left out now. I know, I know, I know. Asshole. But that's what we normally do to our guests. We make them wait. You know? Yeah, wow. <laughs> because like, like every girl you've ever. Oh, you're going to bring that up. Huh? Because uh, the Fashion Week podcast is worth waiting for. We just yes. want to put that out there. Um, yes, this is the world's number one fashion pod, according to our moms. And this is where we talk about fashion and how it makes us weak in our fucking knees, bro. Has your mom started listening to the podcast? No, she hasn't. My, oh, mom, still, my mom still watches Astro. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. she she listens to the radio on Astro. That's oh. how old my mom is. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. God damn. She, not even in the car? She doesn't know that her car is a radio, bro. Oh, auntie. Yeah. It's terrible. Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, my mom is not dumb. Okay, so, okay um, anyway, okay, let's move right to it. Uh, um, we have a very special guest, someone that we've been meaning to bring on this podcast for a long time yep. because of his special talents, because he's an otai in the industry. Yep. <laughs> and uh, without further ado, he is the Lego man. Most people know him as the Lego man. Yep. Customizes Lego. Um, head honcho of Thinker Studios mm -hmm. at Astro. OG in the Malaysian music scene. Please, let's welcome Adli Shairi, my Woo! friends. Yes. Ali, thanks for having me, guys. Oh, thanks yeah, for coming. Selamat Raya. 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 Hey, 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 got Raya music. Got Raya music. <laughs> no more, already, Raya oh, music. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yes. You know we got copyright strike. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because my M Nase. Oh yeah. my God. Come on, M Nase. <laughs> all right, all right. Then let's turn it off. <laughs> we only allowed to play what? What? Five seven sec seconds. Seven seconds of it. <laughs> okay. Um, Ali Shairi. Okay. Before, hey, thanks for coming. No worries. No worries. All good. Um, before we get started. On. Have you heard any of our episodes or watched any of our episodes? I watched the last episode, the t uh, episode 34. So, sorry, we need to get closer to the mic. Oh, sorry. I thought you were. <laughs> okay. I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now that you're closer to the mic, sorry, you okay, were saying. Okay, okay, you were saying. Okay. Uh, I watched, uh, I think, episode 34. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Ash Ash Ashraf Nasir? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, right, yes. Right, uh, I watched right. that one. Okay. Prior to that, I just saw it on my feet, but. Uh, he doesn't since, care. No, <laughs> he's like, you know, who has this monkey? Doing? I know. I, I, because I don't consider myself as fashion person. So, right, right, yeah, right. it's not really he my fashion. He says point while wearing a uh, lemma inside check time. <laughs> yes. I'm not a fashion person. <laughs> okay, before. What an asshole. <laughs> before we, <laughs> we kick off this episode for real, right? Yeah. Now, I know who you are. Yeah. But uh, for the people who don't really know who Adli Shire is, can you give us a little bit of a background of what who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Exactly. Well, basically, I'm just someone who do who document stuff, I would uh, right. put it that way. I mean, I'm into music, mm. uh, I'm into Lego, uh, yep. I'm into uh, the local streetwear, local arts, uh, what else? Yeah, so what I do is I document this stuff that I like yep. across multiple platforms. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's like the most like diverse bro he is into Lego, yep. streetwear yeah. and music scene. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. He, he's a man of many talents. Yeah. He wears many hats. You cook as well. <laughs> <laughs> I tried during Puasa, I failed miserably. <laughs> Okay, but okay, you you and I are we are colleagues at Astro, right? Yep, so yep. you hit Thinker Studios. Now, what is Thinker Studios? Yeah. Uh, well, Thinker Studio, I would um, I would say Thinker Studio is a bunch of content hedonists mm. wow. where we have fun with content without thinking about okay, what's in it for us. We mm. just want to have fun. Mm. And then one of the key ideas when we first started Thinker Studios was to fuck TV. Oh, fuck TV. You need a producer or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Lucas really a producer. <laughs> Lucas is a producer and he's looking for a job now. So, you know, <laughs> you can do yeah. your interview with him. Fuck TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. The, it's it's more of a like counterculture sort of content, would you say? I uh, know. Not really. Because uh, to me personally, I don't, I don't really like what I watch on TV. Mm. Yep. So, when I was given the task to work on this so-called Thinker Studio. Mm. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was to again to fuck TV because okay. yeah, I, I need the mindset of the team to to be like okay fuck TV whatever that is made for TV you need to stay away from it. So yeah. that's the mentality that I yeah right. I want to do something different Yeah right, yeah right, yeah. Right, right. It's not fuck TV meaning hey, fuck, fuck fuck TV no. <laughs> 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 it's just like the mindset we need yeah. to. I think um, I believe in like in order for anyone to to stretch their vision or anything is mm -hmm. to be, to take the extreme first. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. But okay, so uh, Thinker Studio is part of Astro, right? Yeah. How much can you fuck TV <laughs> as in the direction? Bro, in surprisingly, right? We were given the free reign to do free whatever. Free reign in Astro. Yeah, yeah, to do whatever we want because uh, 
to Astro, they, they acknowledge that we speak to the current uh, youth, current crop, yep. because these are the YouTube generation where they, you know, the the TV may be may not be their main uh, right. uh, source of entertainment and stuff. Yeah. So they like the stuff on YouTube, which is more real, more natural. You're right. Yeah, it's not really. I, I wouldn't say it's a something. Uh, I wouldn't say it's something drastic. It's just yeah. that it's, it's a small, tiny difference compared to what is on TV. But it it is very impactful. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Mm. Anything um, the, the, that's popular on Thinker Studios that people might have seen? Maybe you can name drop some stuff. Well, the, uh, the interview with Pestle and Mota. That's true. That's a real, real company, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what is, uh, where can people watch uh, stuff that Thinker Studio makes? Uh, they can, uh, well, apart from uh, YouTube, our YouTube channel, Thinker, uh, official Thinker Studios, they can also watch content on TV. We have some content which is Uh, to TV standards, it's a bit off. It's a bit okay. It's not mm. crazy, though. Yeah, yeah. For right. TV standards, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Well, uh, now that we uh, you know caught up on who Ali Shairi is, now we know who the hell he is. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Now he knows. We, we start the episode officially again. Okay? We kick it off with a swag check. Now, what a swag check is for those of you who don't know, you those of you who are new fashion weaklings, it's where we find out Ali from our guests what they're wearing today in the podcast whether living. they put in any effort to ah, come here or not. <laughs> now because you are a local streetwear head and also a streetwear head like you said tell us what you are rocking today from head to toe man he's not into fashion <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> this is Weko Maria cap <laughs> yeah uh, I'm wearing Weko Maria cap uh, the mm. Supreme MBV t-shirt uh, Uniqlo pants yeah see this guy and, this guy he knows what's a, up. a slide just a basic slide basic yeah. slides he's yeah. like, It's not sliders, right? They're not sliders. We okay? need to make a t-shirt. Slides are not sliders. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Because what are sliders? Burgers. Mini burgers. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Now, okay. So, wow. so today actually you're packing some heat. You, you came in a wacko Maria hat, which I assume you bought This from- hat's worth more than your fucking uh, outfit though. <laughs> I know. Which I assume you bought from Crossover. <laughs> shout out Jem. Jem Crossover. Yeah, shout out Jem. <laughs> yes, yes. Come on, boy. How much does this hat cost? Huh? Just, just perspective. For our How much? Uh, uh, before sale. Before sale. <laughs> to be honest, right? If I like something, I just pick it up. Mm. Correct. <laughs> He knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah. fella knows what's up. Yeah, so yeah. You don't care about the price at all. Yeah, yeah. Because to me, like, I, I, I appreciate uh, stuff that I like. Mm. So the value is not really an issue. You can't yeah. put a price on love, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love yeah, and yeah, lust. Yeah. Right. yeah, lust. <laughs> I think it's more lust. lust. <laughs> lust. <laughs> it's, okay, your yeah. Supreme T-shirt, um, which says my, my bloody Valentine. Yeah. Uh, resell? You got it on re- re- for, for a resell? Uh, for retail, yeah. I got retail. it for retail. Yeah. Retail? Yeah, retail. I, 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 I got it. Who's I got your my, plug, bro? <laughs> Who's your plug? <laughs> yeah, you hit us, so no point, you don't wear so <laughs> much, so high. No, no. Nah. This one I need to have because my bloody Valentine is one of my favorite bands. Yeah, mm. yeah so mm. when I saw it, I said, oh, I need to have it. Uh, the rest is a bit too colorful for me. So right. this is the most subtle one. Like. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, okay, Lucas, going back to what you said, is that you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Supreme, I'll wear it. If it's not a box logo, I wear really? it. Yeah, uh, if it's- Awesome. I just don't like- This is why we are friends. <laughs> yeah, I'll wear it. I, yeah. I just don't want to wear the box logo because you know, everyone else has Are there it. any box logos, any at all, mm. that you would wear? Any? Not really. Really? Not yeah. even like some like commemorative ones? I only like the stuff that that doesn't have the Supreme logo on it. But you look yeah. at it, if you're a Supreme head, you look at it, then you know, oh, that's Supreme. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, you know, kind of. Oh, box uh, box you... logos are for kids. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. There we go. There you go. That, <laughs> mark that down. This is, <laughs> box logos are for kids. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. No, 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 no. Yes. They, they need to make, uh, to make their mark, you know, to you're be right. seen. So right. that's the most, I think currently the most identifiable logo. You know, right. That's the stupidest thing I've seen like recently in the last week. Yeah. Mm, I saw someone reselling Supreme stickers, one for 90 bucks. Oh, I'm what? like, go fucking <laughs> go and die. <laughs> well, and die. you can go and buy on Lazada. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 30 yeah, ringgit. That's how I work out. <laughs> 30 ringgit for like, I don't know what. They're a little bit small. <laughs> <laughs> But it says Supreme. That's all you need, right? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So your shorts are from Uniqlo. Are you a big Uniqlo shopper? God yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I love Uniqlo. God I think. damn right. And see, <laughs> finally, we have someone who loves Uniqlo on the podcast. Uniqlo. It's about time you sponsor us, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> count me in, count me in. Sponsor yeah. because <laughs> Ali, Shari, Ali Shari as well, okay? Yeah. Because we are Uniqlo heads. So yeah, yeah. how much stuff would you say you buy from Uniqlo um, on a monthly basis? Um, well, technically, if you look at my wardrobe, right? It's uh, 70% Uniqlo. Okay. From my boxes, my socks, everything. Yeah. Do you have the three for 10 ringgit one or the Airism boxes? 
no, no, three for ten again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are Arnold's friend there. <laughs> See, okay, do yourself a favor. <laughs> Only one pair, one pair of Arizona. Just one. Really? Just one, bro. Really? One. Yes. It's really? like what? Angels cupping your balls. Oh, really? Yeah. It's okay, like yeah. that. It's like that, bro. You never want to go back to anything. I will have ruined your life for boxes after that. Really? Because they're so good. Really? Yes. I know. <laughs> yes. If Lucas bought me a pair of, <laughs> of Arizona box. I have to say it's, it's very, very good. But it's expensive. Lah. You okay, know, so okay. if you're willing to cough up one the pair, cash. Just one pair. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. for your fancy times. Mm. All right. You're feeling fancy. <laughs> Mm. See, we talk so much about Uniqlo, but still no sponsor. Uniqlo, yeah. what's up? Come on, man, what's <laughs> up? Bro? Yeah, I think Uniqlo have been sponsoring the wrong people. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bastards. Yeah, I mean, like, come on. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. We, we truly yeah. love your brand. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what happened recently? You know, like, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. Mm. The Billie Eilish collection dropped Uniqlo. Uh-huh. Fuck, next two weeks time, we're going to have a Uniqlo cast cluster already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see how many motherfuckers <laughs> are queuing up for that oh, shit? Oh, really? I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, it's the Murakami designing uh, Billie Eilish collection on wow. Uniqlo UT. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, that's it. All the little hype beasts <laughs> and hype beast links <laughs> all there links, eh? to sell their profit for 10 ringgit extra. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you all have nothing better to do with your life. I hope you all get, I don't hope you all get COVID. <laughs> la, but you know. <laughs> but it'll be in the bargain bin next two months. I know, right? right. right. Yeah, I mean I like know, chill. Right. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so not only do you cop Billie Eilish merch first, you also cop some COVID. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I think. Yeah, yeah. Free, buy one, free one, <laughs> man. That yeah. one straight <laughs> up. Okay. okay, how come you came in slides today? Ali, I've always known you to be a man of many nice shoes, bro. No, like, I don't have that many shoes. Yeah. 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 No, because yeah. when, I, when I saw the, uh, the episode 34, mm. oh, it's recorded at home. So to me, it's more about practicality. Yeah, you see? Right. This guy knows what's up. Smart man, very <laughs> smart man. He knows what's up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, too much effort to put on the you know socks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So it came in very basic slides today, which okay. is acceptable, okay. a very, very it's good acceptable. reason. As long as you don't call it sliders, it's okay. <laughs> All right. I know I'm going to design this t-shirt. No, 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 no. Uh, There's some people on this show, me included last time, uh, episode 20 something, uh, call it slider. uh, Then uh, Arnold got damn angry. uh, Sliders uh, are burgers, not slippers, okay? Triggered, bro. Yeah, straight up. Triggered by the strangest (laughs) things, this Arnold. Okay, so what about your watch? Um, Anything special there? No, it's just neighborhood. Oh, 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 it's, it's just, just neighborhood. neighborhood. All just the Japanese streetwear. I know, like, neighborhood. I know like. Okay, so <laughs> it's a neighborhood uh, G-Shock. Yeah, G-Shock. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice, I think nice, this nice, one nice. came up late last year, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It, where can you buy that now still? Uh, this one I bought in neighborhood store in uh, Shibuya. Uh, in Shibuya or Harajuku, I can remember, yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Okay, it's a flex, man. Yeah. yeah, man, yeah, man. All right, all right. So that wraps up the swag check with Adli Shairi. Yeah, man. Very simple man, but you know, very subtle. Simple, understated <laughs> Japanese <laughs> style. Uh-huh. People look at it, they don't know what is Weko Maria. But still packing people. some heat, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think I like your t-shirt because, you know, at this current time, the, the trend is the, the bundled band shirts, uh-huh. you know, and, and it, it's just that aesthetic, but no, you look behind, bam, supreme. Ah, uh-huh. fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bundle this shit. <laughs> Okay, yes, we're hanging out with Adli Shairi from Tinker Studios here yep. in uh, the podcast living room for episode, this is 35? Yes, 35. 35 yeah. I know, come on. <laughs> How hard is it to count? <laughs> okay, Adli, um, I think the other thing people know you for is your Lego customizations. Okay, Besides mm. your Tinker Studios, um, you know, vigilante by night thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> in, in, you're also a Lego customizer. <laughs> now, can you, for the people who don't really know what Lego customization is, well, we're going to put up some pictures okay. uh, on our YouTube channel yeah. of the stuff that you've done from your Instagram. Can you explain to us how you got into this and what is Lego customization? Okay, uh, well, uh, I, I got my first Lego set on my third birthday. Okay. So, and you then, still remember what it was? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, last two years, I bought it back. Oh, oh God. yeah, because it, I have a picture of myself with that oh. set, so I need to have that set. Yeah. He's gonna say, bro, I don't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that when you were three years old? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fair enough. Yeah, so yeah. What, what set was it? Uh, it was a very basic set, set number nine. They call it number nine at that time. Yeah. Okay. So, wow. and then life happened. So I think five or seven years ago, I rekindled my love with Lego okay. mm-hmm. via this uh, Lego minifigure set. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so from then on, it's just like... Are, yeah. you, are you one of those fuckers who stands at the counter and feels for the... the I used to, but now just I have buy my- the whole box. No, no, no. Now I have my plug, so. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. There plug. we go. <laughs> That's yeah. what's up. But my, my question is, okay, what is the longest you've spent at a Lego shop? Because obviously this is your thing, right? Uh, 
The longest, right? Okay, when I first started, yeah, I spent a lot of time, mm. uh, longer time in uh, Lego stores. But mm. now I already know what I want. Wow. So that's yeah. it, man. It's like yeah. a list here. Give this, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give it to me quick. I, yeah, credit card is here. Hurry up. <laughs> so, so just to give uh, the listeners paint a bit of a picture, you've done mm. um okay. So when you say customizing Lego sets, you've done uh you've done one for Pestle Mortar as well. Yep, yep, uh, yep. The Pestle Mortar Bangsa store before, right? Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, yeah, never yeah, seen yeah. it? Oh, no, I've never seen yeah. it. Oh, it predates me, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it predates me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you did a Lego set of the Pestle Mortar uh, Bangsa store back when it was still around. Yo. And how do you? Because obviously they don't, they don't make these like Pestle Water logos and stuff to <laughs> yeah, yeah. sell. So how do you customize these pieces? Okay, uh, for the bricks, it's you have all the type of bricks that you need to okay. build something. But in terms of the the decals, Detail. yeah, you, you can print. Yeah, you have to print. Oh, yeah, right. you have to print. Oh. Yeah, hey, that would be so sick, though. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh man, I I would love something like that because I really love the Bangsa store. Mm. Yeah. Like out of like my two years in Pestle Water, my fondest memories all came from Bangsa store. Yeah. Yeah, like shitty parties, good parties. Like getting drunk there, <laughs> like vomiting outside there. <laughs> yeah. You're clearing the beer fucking bottles from the two stupid things outside the store. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was a very thing uh, close to my heart at uh, the Bangsa store. Partying then having to clean up after yep. that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the shitty toilet. That's the worst. <laughs> Thank God inside the Lego, go don't have the toilet yeah. inside. <laughs> but, but but I have like a corner where people were drunk, if you remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very much so. That was <laughs> based on Arnold. <laughs> la. No, but okay. So, so can you name some of the bigger projects that you've done in terms of Lego customization? Some of your favorite ones. Uh, that you customize? Well, to me, whatever that I do needs to be close to me. It needs to be something that I like. Mm. So I would, cons- uh, I would say all the all collaboration or project that I did is my favorite. Yep, yep. Uh, I did for Billionaire Boys Boys Club. The, the kids, I think uh, three years ago, they wanted to launch the kids line. Yep, yeah. So they wanted a lookbook. So I did a lookbook with Lego minifigures for them. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What else? Uh? Uh, and you then- You did it for Billionaire Boys Club. Oh yeah, the so you, you you spoke to Pharrell over. No no no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bit much. Yeah, 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 I thought yeah. Pharrell emailed you and was like, "Yo, bro, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. you gotta customize the Legos for me." the fuck up. <laughs> it was their team. It was their team. And okay. then what else? Awesome. I I did uh, I did one for High Snobiety. Mm, what? Uh, that was for nice. World Cup. I think World Cup. I can't remember when was the last World Cup. Uh? I don't know. Twenty <laughs> fourteen. Yeah, 2016. 14, 14. Uh, 14. I think 14. Oh, 14. 16. No, 14, 18. 16 lah. Because 2020 16. what now? 2020. Eh, no, no, no. Last year. It's two, it's oh, yeah. World so, Cup and, and yeah, yeah, Olympics correct. never gets together. Yeah. My bad. Uh, uh, yeah, the last, the yeah, last World Cup. 18, 18. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. 18. Where uh, was it? Uh, Brazil. The last one's Rio, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. testing. Just, <laughs> yeah. just testing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just testing, so yeah. you did that for High Snob. So High Snob got in touch with you. Yeah, I mean, uh, Pete, Pete Williams, uh, oh. um, uh, the editor-in-chief, yeah, he yeah. was the one who first discovered my art, Lego art. Yeah. And then he DM me on Twitter that time. Yeah. Said, hey, can you send me some of the work? So the one that caught his attention was the one I did for Race by Wolves, his brand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But what I sent to him was the music series and of course the streetwear series, which uh, to my surprise, it was featured on High Snob. Yeah, and then it just escalated from there. So I was like, okay, okay, mm. yeah. Mm. So God damn, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I think cool. the last one I did was for South Ridges. Mm. Selfridges. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it all on his Instagram, by the way. It's uh, at Adli Shairi. <laughs> and uh, I, I think we were we I, we had a chat. I remember the high snob one because we had a chat about it at work, right? Mm-hmm. Like, telling me about it. So okay, the only time I see Adli in the office mm. is when we're smoking outside. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at the smoking area every morning. Really? <laughs> Without yeah. fail, Adli will be there with his coffee <laughs> and his sweat and smokes. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. So uh yeah, so what, very accomplished. Um what, what projects are you working on next for your Lego customer? Uh, currently, uh, I'm taking it uh, slow because uh, I practically did whatever that I want to do at yeah, this yeah. point of time. So yeah. I'm just like, okay, whatever that comes to me, uh, comes to mind, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should legalize this, yep, yep. then I'll do it. Lah. I saw you got the, the, the Old Trafford one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's the one when I looked at it, I'm like, oh my God, I, that, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a cool set, but I'm <clears throat> I'm nowhere near from being a man, a man new fan. Ah, <laughs> thank God you yeah, said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, need, I, need, I need to put it on record. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't get it because I'm a man new fan. Mm. It's, it's just, just I very appreciate nice, it. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. who do you support? Uh, I don't support any, any football. Yeah, you're not a football. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. 
right. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> so yeah, remember Arnold was just very <laughs> close <laughs> to hitting cut ready. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking about menu on this podcast. <laughs> 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 okay, um, Premier League is back, by the way. Uh, you know, 17th of June, I think that's uh, the confirmed date. So your team, uh, how are? Uh, if anybody uh, cares. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> my team, Liverpool, hopefully they, uh, you know, finally, win two more games, two more games and then they win finally. the Premier League title. Okay? How many years have uh, you been waiting? It's been 30 years since they last won. Uh, I was like five years old and I, don't, I didn't even know. <laughs> you know something didn't like even know that. what a football was. Eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, now Ali, we move on to sneakers. Okay? Yeah, super, that was super interesting though. Very, that was super fucking interesting. Yeah, his, his Lego work, very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, oh, wait, wait, before we move on to sneakers, have yeah. you made any money off of uh, your Lego customized? Have you sold any of your art, you know? Um, for uh, Mainly for postings. Uh. I, oh. don't, I don't really sell. Mm, yeah, yeah, because normally if I build something, I would like, okay, then break it what and then keep the it. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you dismantle everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would totally buy the Bangsa store one. <laughs> like serious shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have no yeah, space. I have no space, space to like display. What the f- that's yeah. fucking crazy though. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. You spend so long doing it. Like, oh, pop. Then, yeah. ah, fuck, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have the photos. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That's cool though. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So sneaker talk really quickly. So yeah. we, we need really to know. Really quickly. Yeah, really, really quickly. quickly. Okay. Um, obviously, you see the wall of sneakers behind you. It's uh, Lucas's thing. Nothing special, lah. So, oh. there, nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> so all the sneaker heads that come on this show, uh, we we need to know, like, What's in your sneaker rotation right now? Now, yeah. before you tell us, I know for a fact that you're a Vans guy, like myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, hey, shout out for that Malaysian collaborator with Vans. Yeah, Kim Kim Barudin. Ah, Kim yeah. Barudin. Yeah. 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 Yes, very very yeah. cool collab. That, that's pretty cool. The second one, right? The first one was was Pat Din. Was uh, no, uh, like, first was Showroom. Oh, okay, okay, okay yeah, 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 yeah. And then they have Pardin and then Pardin. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, so what is your sneaker rotation right now, man? Uh, currently, uh, the JP 1003. Oh, wow. 2020. Oh, wow, you fucking Porsche boy, man. <laughs> no, I, I really want a pair. Really? I really want a pair. Is that the yeah. New Balance? The yeah, New yeah, Balance. 1300. Yeah, 1300. 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, 1300, also one of our weaklings pointed out, one of the weaklings always sends me links to mm. like New Balance, which is like, like the 1300, because he knows I like it. I'm uh-huh. like, oh wow, thanks for the link, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's like super good, eh? mm. and I, I totally want it, because it's also, look, one of the models looks like the ALD uh, uh, yeah, uh, 997. I'm like, yo, I, I need this pair. You and be here? Not really, but I, I like mostly Nike, but mm. I, I have appreciation for NB. Mm-hmm. So I, I like the 1500s, the 997, those sharper toe. Yep, yep. Sharper toe models. Mm-hmm. So when the, the, what's the 327 or something came out, I, I'm not a big fan. Uh. Oh, the, the, the recent, the one yeah, with Casablanca. Yeah. The, the chunky ones, I'm not, not a huge fan of. Mm-hmm. And like even the 992, I'm, I'm, I'm very, yeah. looks a bit weird. Right, uh-huh. right. Tell me the racer models, like when the 1500s, wow, wow. I love that shit, man. Me in UK, that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah. I'm all for that, man. You know? yeah. That's wow. nice. That's Look nice. at you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> we can start a different podcast for this. <laughs> okay. So, you, 1300s, how did you cop that? Because as far as I know, it was very hard to get, right? Um, uh, I there's only re- 8 or 12 here. I cannot reveal my plug. <laughs> 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 Um, stream. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate yeah, no, it. I love this man. The, the mystery. This, the mystery is yeah, what uh, yeah. you know keeps us going. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so what else do you have in your rotation? Uh, right of course the key day, both both are authentic and uh slip on. Mm. Uh, mm. another four, three, yeah. Uh, mm. this Vans Paisley design. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Uh, Vans Vault Paisley. Mm. Uh uh eh. There's another. Oh, uh, Adidas Human Made. Superstar. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. The superstars. And then still, my. Still available on crossover, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Still, yeah, still available, available on crossover. The yeah. white ones? Or? The black ones. The black ones. Okay. All right. Uh, and then the other one is my flip flop. Uh, my, no, my slide. slide. Yeah, slides. Slides. <laughs> <laughs> that's on my rotation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay so fancy. that's your main rotation. But see, you. Are, are you would you call yourself an NB head? Uh, are you a New Balance head? Uh, I, I I don't know how what qualifies someone to become an NBA. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but to me, I appreciate New Balance. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I think last uh, they are coming back hard. They uh, are. Yeah, yeah, the previous two years was a bit. It's iffy, shit. Yeah. It's a bit shit. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, be yeah. honest. It's yeah. boring shit. Yeah, but then now, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. 
I, yeah. I, I'm a bit wet for New Balance again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Funny, uh, like one of the one of the fun facts, uh, I, I wrote an article for Gumball magazine, I think six or seven years ago. Mm. And the title was, How NB Changed My Life. Okay. Uh, Literally, how NB changed my shoe collection in my life. That's the point where I was buying New Balance nonstop. Mm. Like constant New Balance shit. And it was not just, not special stuff, man. It's GRs. A lot of yeah. GRs. I had like a, a whole collection of that. And I, I sold off some. They cracked. The 997 is very prone to cracking. And yeah. I, mm-hmm. I had propaganda pack, la, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I think now they have come cyclical, one full cycle. And I think it's also because of fashion right now. La. Like how mm. people want like, to wear their shit. Yep. Uh, yeah. Look at a 990, dude. Yeah. 990 V5 or... Low uh, just boom, boom. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Yeah, true, also, true. thanks to Emily Oberg, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's a big fan of the 990 series. <laughs> but, just like Arno. Uh, just like me, you know. I uh, She's my mood board, bro. I mean, uh, <laughs> actually, right, I miss the boot because Emily Oberg, right? Yeah. She DM'd me on Instagram. What? <laughs> No, no, really. This is true story. So uh, she went because I legalized her mm. in front of a Supreme store because back yep, then yep. when she was with Complex, she always do yeah, the interview, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So she said, can you send me that figure? Okay. So she even gave me her home address in New York that time. I know, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me being Malaysian, I just slap on it. And then yeah. when I DM her again, oh, sorry, I already moved to LA. LA and then yeah. it's okay. Uh, oh, so, uh, I think I still keep the DM. Oh, <laughs> my, show us dude, Emily Oberg. It's Emily Oberg, dude. DM <laughs> Adli Shairi. My goodness, I'm wet right now. <laughs> Slip into his DM. This is another one for the highlights reel. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, yeah, I just Sh- search Emily Oberg. Yeah. <laughs> Emily Oberg. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say this again. Okay? Adli okay. Shairi, our guest today on the podcast. Yep. He got a DM from Emily Ober, yep. which he's searching wait, for. Wait, 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 coming. Oh, it's coming, it's yes, coming. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is real, this is real. Uh, yeah, this is real. Wow, you guys had like an you hour can't... long chat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't see it, but uh, I know it's a little bit wet. <laughs> wow, shit. You yeah. had an hour long chat with Emily Ober. That's, I'm, that's I'm, fucking dope, dude. Okay, here's what she wrote. Hi, the Lego is so cool. Would love to have it in my apartment. Love, 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 love. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey, Emily Ober has love, 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 love in his DMs. Eh. Wow, bro. All right. I'm officially jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's just end this episode right now. <laughs> Fuck you, Ali. <laughs> that's, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no. like for myself, like I, I am hoping like maybe the next like six months, I'm going to keep my eye out a little bit more on New Balance. And mm-hmm. I think the next few pairs are really mm. going to be the, the Tokyo design ones. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but ah, man, I wish it, I don't know. New Balance right now, uh, I, I wish they would do some more of those. You, you know, there was one time where the 1500 was such a collaboration shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I have this collaboration. Uh, Lucas standing up and going to his wall. Uh, oh, this is the 1500s. I have, I have both. These, and this is from Nice Kicks. Yeah, in, Nice in, Kicks. In Texas. Okay. And I don't think the store exists anymore. Yeah. And I think this is one of the only pairs in Malaysia. Right. Really? Yes. Damn. I don't know anybody else who has this pair. I've seen maybe two pairs on, on online. Yeah. But maybe it's one of five pairs in Malaysia or something like that. And I have both of the, the these. This and is one six hundred, right? This has been fucking beat to shit. Yeah. Lucas, is, Lucas is really flexing right now, you know? <laughs> he's, 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 guys, no, no. shout out if you actually have a pair of this, 1500's nice kicks. Mm. And if it's in mint condition or if it's new, I will buy it from you. Yeah. Like, I, I don't mind another pair. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love this pair. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, mm. this one is the 15, one is the 1600. Yeah. This is one, one, one year apart, I think, like they did it. And it, it this is so nice. So nice the color for this one is so nice. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, nice. It's great that in this time of COVID, you're putting these sneakers on the table, you fuck. Hey, <laughs> these sneakers have not been touched now, in like, <laughs> please sanitize <laughs> your hands. <laughs> these sneakers <laughs> have not been touched in two <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> I have hand sanitizer ready. You were like touching these old <laughs> shoes and shit. Uh, <laughs> eat my shit. <laughs> okay. okay, but Ali, so yeah. do you only buy the Made In series when, you come, when it comes to New Balance or do you buy GRs as well? Uh, well, I'll buy- hey, Made In is kind of a GR as well. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. If you oh. can buy it online yeah. or, or like in a store, yeah. it's but a GR. I guess, you know, it, for, to most Malaysians, uh, to me anyway, it's expensive. So it really doesn't really count as a GR. Right? Yes, it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. It's expensive, dude. Fucker, you know what's not a GR? He's 1300. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Not GR. Fair. Do you own any, uh, I think from the 990 series? Uh, I have one grey one, but it's a GR, non-collab. Yeah. I, I love yeah. the old 990s. The uh, old ones, V1? Yeah. Yeah, V1, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's uh, the one I like. Yeah. Right. yeah V1. It's very. It feels less like a 990 V5 and yeah. more like a 997 kind of thing, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But and when I think of like the V1s, right, mm. it's very Irman Hilmi, right? 
<laughs> I feel like <laughs> hey shout out everybody <laughs> <and> call <laughs> motherfuckers out man <laughs> yeah, yeah, another I OG. Can, I, every time I close my eyes and I think of the wee right. ones yeah, I right. think of Irman Hilmi you know? I think of yeah Ir- Irman or Jem yeah. 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 Irman or Jem yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jem, Jem, I, we need to have Jem on the podcast I know he's very soft spoken but he's one of the most well dressed people I see yeah. him come down yeah. from Joe. <laughs> <laughs> when he's here la, yeah. hey, the other one the, the recent one uh uh, shit, Japanese brand, forgot. Oh, shit. It's a New Balance collab? Yeah, yeah. 99. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot. The 992s? Oh, no, no, no. Someone posted it. So, oh, nah. but, but recently, the 992s have been all the all the hype, right? For you lah. No, not for me. <laughs> I, personally, <laughs> no, personally, I don't like the 992s. I really? like the 993s. Yeah, I like yeah. the 990v3s. ALD, ALD did 992, right? ALD did, uh, no. ALD did the V5. I'm so V5. confused. And right they now. also did- So many code <laughs> name, right? Yeah. <laughs> so 992X4 Beta 6. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, but 992s recently came out, uh, I think Crossover dropped the black pair the other day. The, uh, oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Black yes. with the white midsole and gray, right? Yeah. yeah. But I don't know if that sold out, but I think most people want the gray ones, like the Steve Jobs ones, you know? The you Steve know? Jobs the ones. Steve, Steve Jobs, Jobs, bro. The Air <laughs> Jobs, okay? <laughs> Air <laughs> Jobs. Air <laughs> Jobs. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Is New Balance cool now? Yes. Apparently, really? yeah. Extremely cool. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, yeah about I do not know what happened. New Balance was a sleeper brand. Like, you know, you wear it, like it's part of your rotation. You yeah. know, it's never been like the hype brand. You know? Like, mm. uh, And now it seems to be like fucking crazy, man. People Ever- are, are going nuts for this shit. Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah. And on TV5, especially at that time. Yeah, yeah. Not eight, what, 800 bucks uh, retail price, right? Well, like Brian Botakchin says, because of the, the whole dad trend, I think everyone yes. is starting to, you know. Uh, adopt that People style. People don't want to wear Air Monarchs. La. Yeah. Air Monarchs are not fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. They look like, I like the dad shoe kind of, mm-hmm. like a little bit, mm-hmm. but Air Monarchs, I draw the line there, man. Yeah. You look like shit, bro. You like, adopt that style of dressing, then I guess it goes very well with New Balance. I don't know. I, uh, I, think, okay. I think that's okay. what uh, yep. it is. Okay, wait, wait. I, but I have to, we haven't asked you the important question. What yep. is the most you spent on a pair of sneakers? Bro? Oh my God, wonderful. Uh-huh. Who, most, huh? The um, most ever. Uh, most ever, I think like, uh, Last year. Last year, I bought this uh, Vans Bones collab. Mm. That one I bought from StockX. Uh, StockX is a bastard. Yeah. I really needed that pair. So <laughs> He needed it. Uh. <laughs> Hear that. He needed the pair. You know? <laughs> needed it. Don't yeah. fuck about. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it, it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was around 1007, 1008. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. For a pair of Vans, bro. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Ooh. Wow, no, no, for, for, for a beater. Uh, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly for a beater. No, because to me, right, when you yeah. whatever pair, right, yeah. how much money you spend on it, right, you need to wear it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, you're, you're yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. What what model, what style is it? Was it an authentic? Old school. Old school. Okay, lah. Yeah. A little bit more cushioning, so it's justified. <laughs> <laughs> you know which one I like, actually, that I saw? It's the one with the plastic cover. Uh, I can't remember. No, that's fucking it's cool. Ugly. I thought the idea <laughs> is so cool. No, no, man. It's like, it's one thing, and then the, the, the I know, cover I, is something else. I'm like, hey, that's fucking smart. It's yeah. a translucent plastic it's smart. cover outside. It's smart. Right? What the fuck? I wouldn't, maybe wouldn't wear it, but I think it's very smart. Well, vans.com.my has a 30% off sale. Yeah, so Nike I'm had 50%, so <laughs> <laughs> I, chose, I chose the swoosh for that. <laughs> okay, um, okay, so you already named your top five sneakers of all time. Uh, or oh, in you your, didn't? In your rotation. rotation. Top five of, top five all, of all time. All time. Okay. Top five of all time in my collection, right? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. Even, all, if, even if you don't own it, you can name uh, it. Yeah. Okay, uh, I would say... Uh, the 1300 cone meal. Okay, okay. Uh, New Balance. Huh? Mm, New yeah. Balance 1500 uh, foot patrol. Foot patrol, okay, okay. Uh, and then. And uh, straight up. Uh, I would say. Hmm. Actually, I really like the Nasi Lemak. Okay. Yep, me yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very comfortable. It. It's, a bit uh, tight. it's a bit tight for mm. my size, but mm. okay, very yeah. good. Because I never worn a six before, but right. that was my introduction to a six. It was really yeah. nice. Then. Yeah, it's comfortable, nice, and then uh, two more. That uh, one, who's your plug? That one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Brian. <laughs> Those gel cayanos. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, that has made its way firmly in my rotation. Yeah. Like nasi lemak. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's a very good colorway and it's very yeah. easy to wear. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And yes. it's not it's too not, out there. It's not mm. easy to wear because the colorway is bright. 
mm. it's loud. Mm. But it's it's su- super comfortable. Super comfortable, it's yeah. Super I've, comfortable. Well, it goes well with say, I mean, if you're talking about wearing pants with it, right? Dark colored pants. You can even wear khakis with I, it. I don't it know what wearing well. pants feels like. <laughs> Sorry, bro. The MCO has I, done that to you. I don't know what pants feel like, man. My shins are like exposed <laughs> man, to the world. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and then of course the vans blends. Mm. Okay. Um one more would be Oh, I have this Vans old school uh, collab with Larry Clark. Okay, I don't think I know which one this one Me is. Me too. Yeah. I, I'm like uh, completely... Yeah. Larry, uh, this was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, was Japan exclusive. Mm. Okay. So I've been, I'm, I'm a big fan of Larry Clark's work. Yeah. Right. So when I saw, oh, yeah, I needed that one. That one, I got it reseller. But I have Pluck who managed to get it uh-huh. for there a good deal. go, man. Yeah. See, Pluck life. <laughs> Uh, I don't even have that many plugs, man. My plug is you bunga. Do. Of course it's you do. It's more expensive. Bunga. <laughs> hey. Oh, speaking of bunga, I was just talking about this with a friend that day and I, yeah. I, I made a trade with him not too long ago. Okay. Oh, I mean, it was a few years ago when the acronym um, Prestos came oh, out. Oh, the ones that you tried to, to, to uh, <laughs> yeah. let go to me. La. The pink and blue ones. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. I, so, I would have get it yeah, from Yeah, you. so bunga and I made a trade and I felt like, you know, I really lost out. But anyway, I mean, I made the decision to do it. So I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not calling him out or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but he got the better end of that deal. You were like. desperate, like, basically. <laughs> yeah. What do you trade for? What do you trade for? Uh, React 87s. Some, no, okay, what? Uh, the, but it's not like the sale colorway. You know dollar I mean? do- it's dollar for dollar. Like. Really? It is nearly dollar for the dollar. The acronyms are paid like thousand. No, that's because you're a sucker, bro. <laughs> that is because you're a sucker, bro. <laughs> no, because I, I won the raffle in some Australian store and I had to buy it. Oh, right? you're, you're yeah. a sucker shit, bro. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Man, what a retail, eh? <laughs> See? Retail, that's, bro. That's my last time trying to win a raffle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but uh, back to you, Ali. So, mm. uh, are we no, complete? No Jordans. No, like, yeah. this one I like. I like. Very, yeah. very cool. Very yeah. cool. No, no, I, I don't like, I don't, actually, I'm proud to say I don't own a pair of Nikes. Right. Oh, no, not it's at nice. all. Not at all, huh? No, at all. I, I never like it. I never like it. Really? Yeah. Not so even cool. Cortez. No. <laughs> I, I don't like the Cortez, man, at all. It's an OG. It's shoe, a horrible man. shape, dude. You're a cholo. You wear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to wear the long socks and only one button. Yes, button. Yeah, I coach USA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we, we completed all five, right? Top five sneakers yeah, of all time. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, nice. Dope. Okay, last last but not least, okay, for all our sneakers. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's <laughs> replace this, okay? No. I see you play Animal Crossing. <laughs> ah, okay, do you okay, have okay. a sneaker wall in your Animal Crossing of house? Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Producer right now is playing Animal Crossing right now. <laughs> She's not paying attention to the thing. This, uh, yeah. I, I, I like, converted my house uh-huh. into a streetwear store. Yeah, yeah. I, I did a lot of things. <laughs> that, uh, ooh, I, during this MCO, right? Okay, yeah, apart from doing other stuff, yeah. I'm so hooked to Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah. That's it's it. like so crazy. That is it. That yeah. is it. I never, uh, it was my it was my daughter. Mm. So <laughs> one day say, hey, uh, she called me Appa. Mm. <clears throat> Appa. Why did you check this out? I said, no, 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 I'm not interested. Please do it for me. So I Oh, tried. do it for me. <laughs> so I tried. I got hooked and then yep. I was really looking. Uh, uh, I don't like to share. Yep. So I was waiting. Oh, when can uh, when will the uh, M- MCO? Yeah, MCO yes. because I need to buy my own switch. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, seriously, bro. It's I don't know. I don't know what's it, 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 dude. I'm exact same as you. Really? Yeah? yeah, I bought a game actually for her to play. Okay. And I was like, Thank God I'm not as addicted as she is. She's like <laughs> completely hooked. But like for me, right, I started it, I'm like, what kind of stupid game is this? You know, what do you do? I asked like Ming, uh, one of the Mings, right? I was like, hey, what do you do that? Oh, you catch spiders. I'm like, what the fuck you catch spiders? <laughs> what do you do it with? Put it in a museum. I'm like, you have a spider museum? <laughs> then when I started playing, I'm like, motherfucker, this is the most fun game yeah. I've ever played in my life, bro. Yes. So, yeah. Adli, do you share the Switch now with your daughter? Or you no, 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 no. I have my own, yeah. I have my own <laughs> island now. <laughs> wow. Okay. I have my own island now. We'll link up and I'll visit your island, you'll visit my island. Of oh course, of oh course. Like, yeah. <laughs> Father of the year, man. No, 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 that's good, that's good because at least you have, you let her have her own time with her own Switch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Don't, you don't take her own her Switch. It's, no, no. it's more like, I want my own time with my Switch. <laughs> Dude, do you, you know go. that this game, right? They hit their lifetime sales goal yeah. in less than half a year. Okay. Lifetime, lifetime sales goal, all right? 
they hit it like, when, when the Animal Crossing come out? March. March, yeah. Since March. Yeah. yeah. They hit the lifetime numbers, uh. Thanks to MCO, lah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's, it's it's that plus like how good the switch is, plus yeah. how good the game is, yes. yeah. and how sucker the people are. <laughs> True. <laughs> I wake up every morning and first thing I go is to clothes shop. To shop for new clothes. Sim. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? I have multiple pairs of the same fucking basketball shoe because they look like AJ One Chicago's. Yes, 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 yes. I yes, fall. Yes. So you yeah. could uh, explain to me how this works. So in Animal Crossing, you control a character. Yes. yes. And you live its life every day. Yes. yes. In the game. Yes. yes. So it's kind of like is it kind of like Sims in a way? Yes, but much simpler. more fun. Yeah, simpler right. and fun. Yeah, you don't have to worry about his hunger and all that yeah, shit. All yeah. you do is like dress nice. Yes. Dig up the floor. Yeah. <laughs> pick fruits. Yeah. And shit oh, like that. Water the flowers. Water flowers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it sounds so lame, Manu. Honestly, it sounds fucking lame. Oh no, this is very cool. <laughs> it sounds so lame. But when you start playing it, you'll be like, why am I playing this fucking game? Yes. Why have I spent the last two hours yes. trying to catch a fucking spider? Yes. You know what yes. I mean? Okay. Why yes. have I spent the last three hours fishing <laughs> for the same fucking sea bass? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, really. Uh, if sure. you ever get a switch, I know. <laughs> I don't. Please try. I'm scared now. I'm if scared. Danny Trejo can play it, you can too. Danny Trejo, machete. 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 Yeah. Please, <laughs> Animal Crossing. Please try, please. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm scared to buy, you know, because I don't want to be hooked. And like, <laughs> then you'll be like, this one over I know. here. Right? She's, yeah. she's, she's playing now. <laughs> While manning the camera, she's playing <laughs> Animal she's Crossing. See, so if there's no footage, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The cameras better be on. Producer. <laughs> okay, back to sneakers, right? Okay, 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 okay. One last question. If the government were to move you- No, what? I'm scared this question. The government were to move you to an island to live forever, and mm-hmm. you could only bring one pair of sneakers with you, what would those be? I'll, one pair only, huh? I'll bring my slides. <laughs> That's a good answer. Can we stop asking this question? <laughs> Everybody's gonna bring a pair of slides. Yeah. <laughs> they, they love it, bro. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I call bullshit when people say, yeah, I'm gonna bring my Jordans to the beach. Like, <laughs> Why? Why would you bring Jordans <laughs> to the beach? It's fucking hot. And uh, anyway, okay. right? that wraps up sneaker talk. Not okay? bad, not bad. Now we move on to uh, another very um, important segment. Very important. Very important, okay? Uh, this one's called Adasuka Tadasuka. All right, so we want to find out in your life right now what mm. you're messing with and what you're not messing with, okay? okay? So it's a segment where it doesn't have to just be about fashion. Yep, it can be everything. Anything. Yeah, but we will start since, you know, you're a very trendy guy. Yes. <laughs> fashionable, <laughs> very fashionable, rocking the Supreme yep. and uh, uh, what's it? Guilty parties. At, yep. you know? uh, men's fashion trends okay. right now that you see. Uh-huh. Um, um, what do you absolutely hate? Like, you know what? You, you absolutely cannot stand seeing and you wish like these fuck boy kids would stop wearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, designers, they are designers yep. to me, mm, right? Yes. It's the consumers. Yep. Yeah, I mean like, I, it's also a phase where I feel they are looking for identity. Yep. It'll come a point to where they'll dress down. Mm. So for now, uh, it's not say that I, well, I don't rock with kids who, just buy because of a brand. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. because doesn't mean like, I don't know, the brand does not, well, loyalty with a brand is fine, but yep. mm-hmm. coolness does not come from what, what brand, brand yeah. yeah. Right, it comes coolness from comes style. from within. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, I agree, I agree. I think uh, um, wearing the most expensive shit doesn't necessarily mean that you have style, right? True, yeah, right. true. Right. So like, okay, so if you, when you go out like, these days, especially when we, if you go to Sneaker La, for a, a very good example, oh, right? <laughs> and you see a lot of like- Every easy ever. Yeah, made. like, so what do you, how do you feel about that? How do you feel the scene has changed? You've been in the scene for a long time. <laughs> to be know? honest, right? If I go to Sneaker La, right? I will only check out the girls, the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like, seriously, bro. I'm not gonna check out, okay, what shoes this guy is wearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean like- Like guys wear nice shoes in hopes that all the girls will look at them, right? But actually only other guys look at yes. guys' yeah, shoes, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, know. you got it wrong, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. And, okay, so what uh, fashion trends then uh, are you rocking with then, um, you know? Uh, you see on, ins- do you have like a fashion inspo that you follow on Instagram? Like uh, someone um, who dresses well? Uh, well, it's more designers. Mm. Uh, I like, uh, currently I like Fresh Jive, which mm. is, I think they're coming back. Yeah. Uh, of course, Fuck. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Waco Maria. Mm. <clears throat> uh, I like Waco a lot, but just, I have to buy it on sale. La. <laughs> so let's just say that, I have yeah. to buy it on sale. Actually, uh, Juice Online. 
Yeah. It's having it on sale. Yes. Yes, yes. Shipping though, it, shit. It's all right, it's all right. I don't want to buy big customs, bro. No. You have, you, uh, on top of the sale price, right? There's uh. a code where you can get more discount. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Motherfucker, <laughs> man. I thought I would not buy clothes during this MCO. <laughs> but Weko Maria shirts are very expensive. I like the, you know, the, the all yeah, the print the Arnold shirts. Yeah, the Arnold shirts. <laughs> Arnold shirts. <laughs> the Cam collar shirts. They are very nice though. Yeah. And mm. honestly, the quality, you feel it, right? Yeah. It's so different from anything anybody else is putting on. Yep. Oh, if you're going to be paying thousand, over a thousand, thousand ringgit, seven hundred. Yeah. 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 Better be, better be <laughs> just copy your chest, yeah. Yeah. One, motherfucker. Uh, but yeah. for those of you who are wondering, no, you won't look like ASAP Rocky, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you get it's, to feel like ASAP yeah. Rocky. Yeah. La. You look like Uncle. La. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Rocky. <laughs> but uh, that being said, uh, Crossover is having a sale at the moment. Yep. Go hit them up. Uh, yep. it's, their Wacko stuff is around 30 to 50%. Yeah. I saw one that I really slept on, which I'm so pissed off. There's one Wacko jacket, mm-hmm. which I wanted and it went all the way down to 700 bucks. Okay, 700 uh, for our Wacko Maria jacket. Right. And I was about to, I said, like, okay, never mind. I will think about it. Then I forgot about it. I came back, I said, like, okay, I'm going to buy it tonight. Mm. That night sold out. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> motherfucker. <sighs> and that's before before MCO. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, I was going to go to Japan because mm-hmm. I, want, I, I wanted some uh, like outerwear for Japan. So mm-hmm. I said, like, oh, this is perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all know how that happened. Uh, <laughs> you lose, you lose. Yeah, I yeah. just bought a North Face jacket from the from the warehouse sale. It is really nice. I can't wait to wear it yeah. sometime. You know? <laughs> when, when the world is allowed to yeah. travel I again. Put, I put on my new aircon to lowest. Lah, then I sit in my room. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Okay, so we move on to music. Now yeah. you're a music guy through and through. Yeah. Um, mm. You started out in the, this industry with um, doing music, right? Yeah, uh, I think... Uh, uh, first as a fanzine editor mm. back in 94. Yep. Damn. And then Tone Magazine. And this then- an Otai, bro. Huh? The old Otai, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Malay Mail, and then yep. XFM, X-Fresh. Yep. Whoa, X-Fresh. Mm. God damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. So, so music nowadays, uh, what are you messing with? What, what, what are you not messing with? Let's start with uh, what do you like? Mm, okay. Uh, last week, uh, me and Ham, right? Yeah. We did this uh, other show where we review music. Right. So last week we were like blown away because the we we did a Hari Raya song mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where we asked people to send in their Hari Raya songs, right? Yeah. And we were surprised because the quality of music, right, mm. that is currently being made by local bands, right, is pretty amazing. Right. Mm, yeah. There's this guy called Budak Belakang, okay, mm. hip hop, <clears throat> and then uh, there's this band called Bridget, if I'm not mistaken, okay. right. Bridget or something, yeah. So uh, there are a lot of good local bands. Like if you ask me, I listen, I think more to local bands. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. 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 And then uh, in terms of what I don't really like, to me, it's simple. I just don't listen to it. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you listen to hits? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody yeah. listens to hits. You should. You should. You play some good music. I sometimes. actually listen to hits uh, when I'm in a car. La, no, yeah. To support you. La. Oh, thank okay. you. To support you. <laughs> to support you. <laughs> yes, yeah. I look forward so much to your gotchas. <laughs> I think that was only for my commute. La, okay. When I was still waking up early. Yeah. Yeah. Then I can, sometimes I don't even know if you're being sarcastic. No, <laughs> literally. literally yeah. like, you can ask for this. Last time mm. we, we had to go to Klan Jaya. Because like, I, I start early, right? Mm. Like I would listen to hits. Yeah. Please listen to hits, by the way, if you're listening. Uh, 92.9, the Clang Valley. Okay. Um, all right, movies. Of course, you, we've been in the MCO. I'm mm-hmm. sure we've been spending, besides Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'd like to think that you've been watching some, you know, movies, TV, TV, movies. Netflix. Yeah. Astro Go. <laughs> Astro Go. Since we work there, we have to mention. Uh, uh, okay. A week before MCO, right? My mm. mother-in-law came and visited me. Okay. okay. So she was stranded. Okay. So throughout MCO, right? Oh my god! She conquered the TV, so I, oh, I haven't shit. been watching anything. What have you? Oh what has your mother-in-law been watching? Uh, Astro, uh, uh, Astro <laughs> Netflix, Netflix, YouTube, Yo. yeah. almost everything. I know how you feel, man. I know how you feel. Yeah, but to me, it's fine because it gives me more time to focus on Animal Crossing and stuff. Yeah. That I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need no distractions yeah. from my fucking fishing. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but what do you have you seen anything recently that you absolutely hated, like you didn't like on Netflix or that you didn't even complete? You know. No, series, no, nothing. because I haven't been watching anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you la, I know how. Me. Have you had time since last week? Um, I just been. Go- I went back to Brooklyn Nine Nine. Okay. Um, so I- unimaginative, but okay. <laughs> I love, I love good, the show. Right? I love yeah. the show. I love the show. Brooklyn Nine. Have you seen show. Brooklyn Nine Nine? No, no, no. okay, okay, start. It's good. It's good. It's a great show. Uh, what else? Somebody said Hollywood is really good. I haven't okay. seen it. Uh, Hollywood. The yep. creator is uh, Ryan Murphy. He did yep. Glee. 
and he did Date the, to me, hurry up. Huh? Date to me. Date to me. I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, <laughs> you just never take my suggestions, <laughs> motherfucker. Slowly, la. you think I have so much time, is it? <laughs> <laughs> after, after your show recorded, then what do you do? Nothing, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Spoiler got, alert, they do a lot. Uh, yeah, okay? so, uh, I don't want to say anything, la, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, so Hollywood, I think uh, it's ranked quite high on Netflix right, right now. Oh, I also wa- I watched that documentary called The Evil Genius. Okay. Is it good? On, on Netflix, yeah. Uh, it's very dark. It's somewhat scary. The um, evil genius. Yeah. So if you don't know what it's about, uh, just to give you the gist of it, um, it was, it's based on this lady um, who, I guess, uh, organized this, this murder, la, right? What the fuck? So this lady is, so she's the evil genius, right? I okay. can't remember what her name was. But um, it started off by sending this guy, they, they got this pizza delivery man. Yep. They strapped a bomb to his neck, okay? Asked him to rob a bank. And then after <laughs> that, when, when he got out, um, the bomb exploded. And um, yeah, so this was, yeah, this is a true story. They had, this happened in <laughs> 2003, I think. So it's really dark. Like, it starts off that way. And then uh, it, it goes into it, it, the investigation to how um, a c- certain number of people were involved in this and planning. All this, this is a uh, producer's shit, man. All, all, all this true crime shit, <laughs> yeah. murderers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all. Yeah, yeah. So I get, I think we're going to be watching it tonight. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> The evil genius. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's about it, man. Ada suka. Tara suka. Aldi Shairi hanging out with us here in the podcast living room. Um, of course, if you just tuned in, che, macam radio. I like, yeah, I, was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. I like your radio side. Like, <laughs> Stop it. We are a podcast. I can cut it out if I want to. Okay. <laughs> you just it's not in. live. This is the Fashion Week podcast, right? episode number 35. Nobody tunes into podcast halfway through, <laughs> dumbass. Okay, but but since, since we're talking about radio, right? Um, This is uh, something that we discussed earlier before the show. Uh, mm. Something we want to kind of address. Okay. Now, stand up comedian Kevin J recently put up a video of him ranting or ranting, I don't know ranting. how you say it, ranting about uh, the local media, right? Uh, specifically Astro, mm-hmm. right? So we watched that clip, um, Ali and myself. So Ali and I work at Astro. And yep, Ali, yep. you've been in the industry for a long, that way longer than I have. So we just want to get your take. La. I mean, we're not dissing anybody here. I'm not saying he's wrong or whatever. We watched the clip. So two points that we will hit on. So one, the first one is that he brought up Maharaja Lawa, mm-hmm. right? So what do you think about um, his his comments or complaints about Raja Lawa? Oh, well, I always see it as the two sides of the coins. You mm. know, maybe he see it from a perspective where, you know, uh, he wants to he expect <clears throat> Astro to raise the bar of, you know, com- comedy in Malaysia and stuff. Mm, mm. But at the end of the day, Astro, to me, right, Astro's job to the subscribers is to entertain them. Right. Yeah, so... It's not, <clears throat> um, not to say that he he was wrong. It's just that mm. uh, we, uh, we, <coughs> Astro, 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 Astro. <coughs> Astro is not there to, uh, to increase the standard. And I, I, for me, right, I always see, in, okay, if you see there's a, uh, something that is not being done, right? Mm. Maybe you can do your part. Yeah. Mm. You know, you can, of course you can bend out and stuff, but what are you, gonna do about it you know someone right. who is supposed to do something about it is mm-hmm. not doing anything about it mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. are you just gonna like rant complain about it and, <coughs> yeah. With yeah. No, and not, not bring solutions to the table lah. yeah you might as well okay let's get together and let's do something okay mm. if okay let's say if I were in his position right yeah. mm-hmm. okay you don't you don't want to do it as so you don't want to do it I'm gonna call I'm gonna do I'm gonna spoof or I'm going to do my version of Maharaja Rao Vega, mm. Mega mm. that will put your show to shame. That's what I would do. Like a parody. It's not really a parody. It's like his okay, own version. Yeah, ah. yeah. I'll do this better. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. You know, yeah. so of course, uh, uh, well, production cost, brother. Can, bro. <laughs> bro, because uh, when I do Thinkers to Do, right, one of the mm. things that I realize, right, mm. um, a lot of ideas. Uh, will remain ideas, right? The yep. moment you start thinking about production costs. Yes, you're right. So to me, it's just do it. You know, there's, there's always we... Somehow do it. Yeah, mm. because mm. the moment if you do something, right? You Something tangible, right? Yep. Then people will... You have something tangible to you know bring to the table. Mm. And you wouldn't know where it will lead you. Okay. So it's, it's all about... Uh, to me, it's about getting it done first. Yep. Right, right. Yeah, and the rest will follow yep. if you are <clears throat> really passionate about it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. And I, again, like we, we, we're talking about this, we're just discussing this. And I think for those of you listening, I mean, this is no shade to Kevin J or whatever. I mean, he's mm. a very accomplished stand-up comedian. He's got yeah. a Netflix special. He's on very it. funny. He is, he's very funny. And yeah. I, I get that, um, he, I get 
where he's coming from. Like Ali said, he's not all wrong mm-hmm. in, in his complaint. Um, Just a bit wrong. <laughs> a little bit wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not all wrong. Of course, you know, he he's also worked in radio before. So he kind of knows a little bit here and there about yep. how, to, how to read. So bringing my second point, uh, he also talked about our local radio stations. Like, Straight away triggered. Hits. <laughs> hits triggered. Don't talk bad about hits. And like, now Ali used to work in radio as well. Yeah, so yes. um, what do you think about his um, comments about our radio stations and how we have been operating for the last 30 years? He said, um, one of the things Kavin pointed out was that we've been operating the same way for the last 30 years. Uh, we've adopted Australian uh, radio station programs and formats and we've never changed for the last 30 years. And that's what is, you know, I guess, angered him, right? Okay. What do you think about that? Uh, well, to me, it's very simple. If it's not broken, why must you yeah, fix it? Yeah, I was going to say, like, if it works mm. and yeah. it's still and your uh, listeners' numbers are going up or maintaining, yeah. you know, or not dra- dropping so drastically, mm. why would you change it? Yeah. Right. Isn't that the job of a smaller independent radio station where it doesn't mm. have so many like stakeholders mm. to answer to? Mm. You no, know? and Astro is a national radio station. Mm. I, I I don't I like as much as I shit on hits, right? <laughs> I don't see them changing anytime soon at all. Like gotchas are gonna stay. Right. Like he he ranted about gotchas, and I'm mm. like, I feel you. Like I fucking mm. hate them. Mm. But like you always say, right? There is a, a segment of the population which gets up and loves listening to this shit. Yeah. yeah, you know, and that's why it's it's done. You know, it's not done because you know what Sukahati Anolo wants to do gotchas in the morning. Mm. Anolo probably fucking hates doing gotchas. Don't I'm not putting words in your mouth. I know you can just keep quiet. <laughs> I am. It's my own opinion. <laughs> hey, hey, I love doing gotchas. What you're about. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I, I think I think it's 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 all about that lah. Mm. So yeah, he is not wrong, but he's also not right lah. Yeah, mm. if I can share right, uh, I had it, yeah. I had this freedom when I was running X Fresh right. Yep. we were given free reign. That mm. time, my 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 in my mindset, yeah. right? Okay, I'm gonna support all the local music. I'm gonna yeah. do whatever that uh, era is not doing. Yeah, mm. he's, he's, he's not doing enough yeah. at that point. I'm gonna do all that. Yep. You yeah, know, no five listened. years later, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Reality kicks in. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. it it. It's not about one big party or corporation yeah. to do it. I mean, they but, can do it, but yeah, at the yeah. end of the day, it, it, it's a it's a ecosystem. Yeah, yep. you yep. know, one person can be doing something really great, but without the support from the ecosystem, it's yep. pointless. Mm, right. I've experienced that firsthand. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yep. chill. And, yeah, <laughs> chill, 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 <laughs> chill, bro. Just chill, man. <laughs> but but do you feel like demographics has uh, a lot to 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 play with as well? I mean, I. In terms of radio in Malaysia, mm. you've been working, you work in radio before, mm. and we cater to different demographics, mm. right? And of course, some them like the Malay demographic is the biggest, the mass. Mm. And yep. then we have English, which is all we call urban, which is very small, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, it's just that uh, I feel like demographics play a very important role to this as well. Um, it, it's hard to say like, oh, yeah, you want hits, yeah, hits number one as number one English station, but it doesn't. It, what we do still doesn't necessarily appeal to the entire country what because mm. at the end of the day it's still demographics right yep. so you do what you can do that appeals to your demographic lah right yeah true and i mean that's what we've been doing lah right yep. yeah. uh, again i'm not saying that you're not trying to poach bfm's crowd lah basically yeah, what you're yeah, trying yeah. to say lah because la. we know our market we know our yeah. audience right so we do things that we uh, i mean through research and yeah. surveys mm-hmm. cater to that that, yeah. that specific audience i mean la. you're not going to do business grill right in, in, on, <laughs> on <this laughs> no I don't, I don't see you doing business grill at all la, i know? am not smart enough for that <laughs> <laughs> that's why no, that's why it goes back to my point i mean like if you see a gap why mm. aren't you doing anything about it Mm, okay. You yeah. know, I think it, it has come to a point where everyone, instead of like, okay, instead of complaining, yep. maybe you can try to do something. I mean, mm. regardless the scale, yep. you yep. need to start somewhere. I mean, like if you talk about radio, right? They, I know they are underserved markets, yep. right? So why don't you do, why, why don't we have enough, mm. you know, with some of the technology nowadays, right? Mm. Why don't we have like alternative stations, you yep. know, where yep. you can play, I don't know, like jazz, just yeah. jazz, or you know, right, right. or maybe like podcasts, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, by the way, download a shop app. Uh, it's an like Astro. <laughs> <laughs> some, some podcast there. But he did bring up one very good point, which yeah. I will completely and hundred percent agree with. Like mm. on Maharaja Lawak, he was saying that only one judge in history has been a comedian. Mm. Like they mm. get like 
they get like uh, other celebrities actors, celebrities to right. judge them and honestly if it's a comedy competition be judged by your peers not by like a singer who's going to tell you that you are not telling jokes you're telling just because I didn't say knock knock who's there doesn't mean that I'm not telling you a joke <laughs> it's, it's a story you know there, there are people who do anecdotes there are people who do like shorts right. but it, it's like they don't understand the 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 you know what the nuances of stand up comedy yeah mm. nobody's saying it's easy Kevin mm. nobody's saying it's it's, yeah. it's and I, I agree with you fully la. Mm. Mm. But is it would it be the case that there are not enough standard uh, like stand up comedians who are super famous and Malaysia to go on Rajam uh, or on the show mm. to to judge like week in and week out? Okay, I think like based on uh, uh, why they don't put comedians to judge comedians, right? Because the show mm. will definitely be in a different landscape, mm. Mm. you know, because the comedians' languages, right? Yep will may not be apprehendable to the viewers. Mm. Yep. Right. Okay. So why they put like normal people, celebrities, right? Because mm. they want, okay, from a layman point of view. Yes. Is okay. it yeah. funny or not? Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Maybe Whether have, it uh, appeals to everyone. Lah. Maybe yeah. have right. a panel, lah. you know, panel of judges, like, like I guess American Idol. You mm. know, they have like four judges. Mm. One is a singer, one mm. is a Simon Cowell, one mm. is a pretty person. Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. Maybe yeah. that might help. Astro, yeah. you can, uh, you know, <laughs> you use this, uh, I won't charge you. It's okay. <laughs> okay, but to wrap this up really quickly, right? Uh, this has been a very insightful in, uh, discussion. Uh, do you agree? Ultimately, what Kavin was saying as well is that he thinks that Astro hasn't done anything different in the last 30 years of being around to bring something new to our Malaysian audience. Yeah, you're right? a shock app. So do you... <laughs> <laughs> shock app is keeping up with the time. Go right? on the go, you know? But do you... Okay, so Ali, you are very experienced, you know, um, in the industry. Do you feel that way? Uh, do you necessarily fully agree with him? Well, okay, it goes back to what is the definition of difference? Mm. Yeah. You know, maybe your point of difference may not be the same as mine, yeah. Or Lucas, mm. yeah. You know, so Astro again, if I feel for a big corporation, right, they mm. need to serve their core businesses, yeah. their, their core audiences, right. So maybe the differences is not as drastic as some people expected, mm -hmm. but there are differences, mm. especially to the audiences. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So not to say that Astro has been stuck like that. We are progressing content-wise, but we can't go too far, you know, in a big scale. Mm. So yes, it, there, work, uh, yeah. it, it needs to have a balance between, okay, mm. this is cutting edge, this is... Yep. But the problem with, when you do something that is a bit different or cutting edge, right? Mm. No one watches. Right. Yes. Even people from the, right. the, 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 the scene, mm. they don't really help to promote. Okay. Yep. You know, it, so again, it goes back to that ecosystem. Right. You Wait, know, when you say people from the scene specifically, what do you mean? Um, who do you mean? Okay. Uh, for example? For example, mm. right? Okay. When we did this show called, uh, let's not talk comedy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we did this show called Alternative, where we highlight all the makers and doers, mm. stuff like Pesta and Mota and yeah, stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. So we don't get support, even from the guests themselves, mm. to help to, you know, yeah, get the Push word out. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, it, it's a bit hard for the brand that show to go further because mm. it's just me and my team excited about whoever we want to interview. Yes, right. So right. It, it, uh, that's why I say we you need an ecosystem where everyone works together, mm. get the word out, and then okay, then you can have something more tangible. More, then you can take it to the next level. But yep. if I were to do it alone without any support, then it's pointless. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want to add, Lucas? Um, no, man. So much Astro talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm jobless to remind you, you know, it's too much Astro talk. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I mean, like, okay. Okay, okay, nobody okay. wants to come here and talk about Astro. <laughs> true, true. No. Yeah, what? I'm going to you about his FM questions. No, no, I just wanted to, you know, because he, he is an industry author. Fucking right? triggered, so boy. <laughs> Kevin J, you triggered the shit out of this film, man. <laughs> Not triggered. Just want to have a discussion, uh, okay? Discussion, uh, discussion. Uh, all right, all right. That wraps up that little bit. Okay, now we move on to a very, another, a very important segment uh, back to our regular scheduled programming, programming. <laughs> okay this is let's be honest okay now uh, how this game works is uh it's very simple we ask you questions that okay. we want you to answer honestly and then okay. you ask us back questions that you want us to answer honestly okay um yeah because here on the world's number one fashion for we don't lie to each other never lie <laughs> okay you only tell the <laughs> honest truth yes <laughs> <laughs> all right uh we're gonna hit you with the first one all Lucas, right. you want to go okay let's be honest okay does your wife ever tell you to stop playing with toys? Or ask you, why you spend so much money on toys? Almost every day. 
<laughs> and how <laughs> do you um, not make this an argument? Yeah. Uh, by keeping my purchases a secret. <laughs> That's why, like Brian Botak Chin, right? He's saying, I have to clear this, you know, Vera's asking me to clear up, you know, all the shoes everywhere. Does, does your wife like ever make noise? Like, oh, dude, you have so much fucking Legos everywhere. Then she stepped on you. Ah, motherfucker! <laughs> then she's like, what the hell? Can you just keep your shit? Do you ever get that? Uh, no. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. So, how do you, uh, you got teachers, lah. <laughs> We're not married, but. Teach you, lah. You're teachers. How do you keep your purchases from your wife without her knowing? Okay, one of the beauty Secret thing when card. you have like, uh, it's not that. I mean, uh, when you have a lot, let's say Lego, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. When you have a lot, right? Let's yeah. say you buy one set, right? Yeah. Hey, is this new? No, I bought it last time, man. Precisely. They <laughs> 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 had that time, you don't know. <laughs> yeah. Even, oh like, even like shoes, right? Mm. Uh. No, it hey, don't look the same. Uh, <laughs> baru beli, eh? Hey, no lah. I haven't. This is nah, the first time wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> See this one. Yeah. A bit I of... know she don't trust me, but at least with that kind of explanation, uh, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll do fine. Uh, You'll this, do fine. Guys, this is what you call a white lie. Yes. <laughs> white lie. Yes. This one is okay. Okay. If you can afford it. Hello. You know this one is har- uh, halal. Halal. Yes. <laughs> halal. Okay. <laughs> me darurat. <laughs> okay. White lie is keeping marriages alive. Yes. Right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for being very honest with us. Yes, yeah. Your turn to ask us, any one of us. Hey, let's That's it? Honest. Come on, man. Here we go. Oh, we got two more. We got two more. We got two more. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, uh, Anil, do you really love your job? No, oh, my God. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> for, the, for the 10th time. For the 10th time, people have asked me. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. Give, give your PR like, answer. I don't know why. Answer. Do I seem like I don't love my job? I, I don't know no, why people- No, you know why? It's because- like people always look at it and it's like, fuck man, I don't know how Arnold, like we always say, I don't know how Arnold does his job. Mm. You know, it's so fucking every day do the same yeah. fucking thing. You have to be so happy in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up at four o'clock in the yeah. morning. I'm like, yeah. And honestly, I would love to know the same thing. If I didn't, if I had, don't know you, right? Yeah, yeah. I would love to know the same thing. I Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, so I do love my job. It's, um, I, I think it's a good gig. You know, it's a very interesting gig that uh, um, I don't think, many people get to experience. Uh, I, honestly, if people ask me what I do, I go to work and have fun with my friend. I talk, I talk yeah. shit with my friend, I laugh and then I get paid. You know, it's, it's a pretty cool job, right? However, like a job, like any other job, there are of course like, you know, the things that you don't enjoy. Like, yep. like you said, time is waking up at four or five in the morning. Yep. It's a pain in the ass, okay? Yep. And it takes some, some people years to get used to it. It's not mm-hmm. easy. And um, yeah, and of course, uh, dealing with uh, other people also at work, you know, it's, it's like a family, right? So sometimes yep. you see these people every day and you're not always in a great mood, but you yep. know, at work, you have to sound like you're in a great mood. So yep. all these little, little things, I mean, just like any other job, right? Yep. Um, yeah, but I think ultimately I do enjoy my job. I think this job has given me many opportunities, opened up many doors yep. um, to meet very cool people like yourself, Adli. And, uh, you know, <laughs> oh my God. And to do, you know, no, <laughs> Stop really. shoking his balls. <laughs> yeah. Come on. To do like, you know, uh, cool stuff, like, you know, travel. Podcast and, you know, with Lucas. Podcast with Lucas. <laughs> yeah, goddamn right. And stuff like that. So I really enjoy and appreciate my job, yeah. And I guess I do like doing gotcha calls, all right? If people want to. <laughs> <doesn't, laughs> yeah. This is not a white lie. Uh, no, no that is just a pure no, that's, lie. That's the truth, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, of course, again, the music, I may not like everything that we play yeah. because of my age. I mean, I mean, yeah. that's, that's expected, lah, bro. Like, right. Honestly, I will give you props, like no lie. Like I could not do what you do every day. Yeah. Like we always say, like when we listen to Hits FM, we're like, fuck man, I know has a difficult job. <laughs> like straight up, especially when we hear your parody parody songs, they're like, oh, well, I know has a difficult job. I don't know how you could do it. Like, I, I know, know because you. their job requires too much effort, if you ask yeah. me. But it pays them well. Yeah. <laughs> I see it pays them. <laughs> now I know. I know. No, 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 no. No, contrary to popular I belief, I, I believe that back in the day, once upon a time, you used to play, pay very, very yeah. well. Like. But nowadays, it's changed. Now right? you can only buy three my a month. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for real, for real. I feel like the landscape has changed a lot, um, especially yeah. in terms of pay because uh, we're not seen, uh, back in the day, radio announcers used to be celebrities, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sure you would know. Adi. You are celebrities, still can no, on the street lah, fuck you lah. JJ, Rudy, you know, Ian, okay, yeah, those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Because back then, there was no internet. Nowadays, who are the celebrities that the kids look up to? Harvin Skin, all the YouTubers, Jane internet Chuck. people, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's very, the landscape is very different now. Okay. So yeah, I, I, you know, it Thanks is what for it is. the very PR answer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll note this down. <laughs> But yeah, but we still try. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ali. Okay, what about you? 
Uh, <laughs> Lucas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. No, no. I don't have well, that, that question. Uh, yeah. I don't have a job, so I'm, I'm enjoying no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a different question. Okay, okay. Mm. Let's do his two first. Lah. Okay, okay, we'll okay. Two okay. more. Okay, okay. okay, 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 okay. Can, can. Come okay. on. Go ahead. Uh, okay, when was the last time, right, you overpaid for a sneaker? Oh my God, overpaid for sneakers? <laughs> a lot, way. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Overpaid for sneakers. I paid a uh, stupid amount of money for my A6 uh, Chemist Creations, oh. which is, I, I paid on StockX. Uh. I think I bought it for in the 1004 range, 1005 range. That is high for this pair of shoes. Uh. I really needed to have it. And Sh- show us, show us. Which one is it? Yeah. Uh, show us, uh. Chemist Creations is all the white one. Yeah, that's right. It's so plain, but I loved it. From the day I saw it, I loved it. And like you say, you cannot put price on love, lah, right? True, 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 true. But the price was a bit too high lah for what I paid, lah, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So these are Gel Cayano 5s, right? Yes, Gel yes, Cayano 5s. Yes, yes, Chemist yes, yes. Creations. And for me, it's beautiful because of the double lacing and yes. the two texture of lace, the two size of lace. And mm. Volt is my favorite color in the world. Everyone who knows me knows that Volt is my fucking favorite color. Because <laughs> you're a Nike so, boy. So I had, to, I had to buy it. lah. So, so this is part of the design, is yeah, it? Yeah, man. It's part of the design. And it's so sick. Yeah. Uh, the other one I paid must be okay. Yeah, yeah. The one that I really paid a lot of money for, like unnecessary money, you would not expect. It's not a hype sneaker. It's when I won the raffle for a uh, fucking oh my god, I can't even remember what it's called anymore. It's the <laughs> Adidas shoe, the Adidas freaking flat net like shoe. Huh? Oh, huh? the forty. No, it's like netting one. Fuck the sole, the midsole. No, it's the the upper. Like it looks like a Yeezy. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not oh into. my god! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is this one? Ah, I don't believe the Vans. Motherfucker! Yeah. No, it's the derupt. Oh, the derupt. Derupt. Yes. That was so ugly, Bro, man. Bro, I I put a. It was on end clothing. Okay. And it was I the triple white one. I was like, uh-huh. oh my god. Okay, I I just put a raffle in. I won the raffle. I ended up paying nearly double of what it cost. Wow. Wow. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> it nearly, it nearly hit 900 ringgit because Can after taxes and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the stupidest thing ever, and I gave it away. I gave the Dira away to Shakir. Shakir, <laughs> I hope you're using this motherfucking shoe which I hate, bro. So I wore it once. And I fucking hate it. Oh, man. Yeah, so that's, that's the... Okay, answer. okay. Very honest. He even yeah. showed. Oh, it's like a little God. show and tell. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a fucking good question, though. Okay. That's a great question. Um, we go back to you. Okay? All right. All right. We All right. have two for you, then. Let's be honest. What's the biggest misconception that people have about Adli Shairi? What do you think? Do people have any consumption about me? I don't know. You <laughs> tell me. Yeah, the ones that like, like I know lah. You must, you must hate your job. That's the. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, for you. I do. Wow. I, I, well, status wise, right? Yep. Mm. He's a celebrity. I'm. <laughs> So I but don't you know. You both have blue ticks, okay? <laughs> oh my god! You both have blue ticks. Huh? I don't know. But, uh, I don't know whether people have perception towards me or not. Okay. So I. Uh, wow. Yeah. It's quite uh, a deep one, right? Yeah. Uh, or oh, maybe like your Lego work. Yeah, okay. yeah. Has, ha, has there been a, a misconception that's that that, very easy? Or yeah. Like it's for kids. No. Or, like, or do you think like maybe you work for Lego secretly? That's why you oh, get okay. I think the biggest misconception about me, right? People think I socialize a lot. Oh yeah, you I go out a lot. Yeah, but I'm to be honest, I'm yeah, I'm an introvert. Right, okay. right. Yeah, but I, don't I, you? But I see you hosting your shows on YouTube and stuff. And you're dude, a, seriously, bro, put me in mean, public, right? Uh, yeah, I, I just like jump. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, you I should know, lah. Doesn't mean that like you know you're out there on on YouTube on that. Yeah. Like after that, cameras off, right? Fuck, I wanna just go and sit in the corner and just do yeah. nothing, bro. Yeah, I'm very shy. I'm not kidding, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. very shy. Yeah. Okay, good, good. That's good. That's good. Um, okay. now, now we know. Okay, yeah, yeah, Ali yeah. Shairi is an yeah, introvert. Yeah. Okay, okay, last, last one. question. Last question. Go, Lucas. Okay, let's be honest. You can only choose one for okay. the rest of your life. Everything else have to remove. Okay. Or like you cannot do anything to do with it. All right. Streetwear, music, Tinker Studios, or Lego. <sighs> I choose music. Okay, there we go. There we go. True music. Yeah. Did I you used music. to play in a band? Uh, well, a horrible band when I was in high school. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you played music. That's, that's still yes, band. Yes, right. yeah, Everyone yeah. played in a band at one stage of true, time. Uh. Anyone true. who's done, who's a musician has played in a band before. Uh. Mm. Right? Did you? I've never played in a band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just sit at home playing my guitar. Really? Like, yeah. that's, I never yeah. played in a band. Guitar like. your dick way. <laughs> yeah. That's only really, between, You never yeah. jammed with your friends before? Oh, jamming, yeah. yeah. But I didn't, I didn't You didn't have the dreams of, hey, okay. Of course. Battle of the bands, Joe. Oh, sorry, sorry, Esma. 
sorry <laughs> as well. Dulu kita beli Black Widow bro dekat yeah. Jalan Gasing. Oh, Black Widow. Wow. 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 <laughs> this is like high school days man. Damn. Damn. We used to uh, jam Damn. Linkin Park. You know, uh, Linkin Park. Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit. That wow. era yeah. lah. Yeah. 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 I chose music right, if I can add on. I chose music yeah. because from music, all these things that I did right, happened. Ah, so it's the, it's the start, it's the catalyst for everything. Yeah, music, music. was, from music, I, I learned about, uh, it gives me like, okay, uh, from, let's say from punk rock music, right? It gives yep. me this mentality of, okay, if there's a will, there's a way, you can always do it. There's no excuses. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, it's about doing things. Music give me all this, uh, whatever that is music, right? Mm-hmm. It gives, uh, it builds me who I, uh, to who I am today. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. That's right. a good answer right there. Very good. Okay. That wraps up. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. With right. Adli. Okay. Now uh, we move on to, we're almost at the tail end already. Okay. At the tail end yes. already, man. We, uh, this one is the most important yep. segment of the show. Yep. Right. Okay. Super most important. Yes, we call it, you can't do it with, with no, no do, do it. it. Uh, okay. This is where we talk about money right. and the other sex. sex. But since you're married, we will talk about money, money. first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, all right. So all right. Um, this is the most uncomfortable question anybody can ask Biggest anyone. one. Yeah, but we ask the questions here on the Fashion Week podcast because we like our guests to be uncomfortable. So we start off this segment <laughs> by asking, how much money do you make? After taxes. <laughs> After taxes. <laughs> After taxes, yes. in a month, in a yes. year. In a month, in a month. Lucas. In, a, in a month, how many MyVs can you buy? <laughs> <laughs> or oh, in, oh, in a year lah. Okay, in a yeah, year. In a year. In a year. In a year. In a year. Uh, in a year. Uh, in a range. Give us a range. Yeah, a comfortable give us a range. range. A ballpark figure, you know? Uh, so these are mainly for like the kids aspiring to be like you. And then they, they want to see what um, sort of money I can make. In a year, around quarter. Oh, a quarter of a million. Quarter of a million. Oh, okay. Oh, there okay. there okay. we go. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Okay, guys, there we go. Yeah. Quarter of a million. million. And okay, do you make a lot of um, side in- income now? From, what are your side hustles? Yeah, from like Le- Lego and postings on Instagram? Mm, well, not really. I, because to me, let's say if I were to post or do anything, right? Uh, it, needs to, it needs to be something that I want to do. Yep. Right. So it's more like if it comes, it comes. So I, I never really keep track. So mm. yeah. Okay. So it's more like my pocket money lah if right. the, it comes in. Pocket yeah. money. But are you picky about like the jobs that come in? Extremely. Like, extremely lah. Yeah. So if you for example, if Skittles wanted to do something. Skittles. But you wouldn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it needs to be if they, if we can meet halfway, meaning uh, without me losing my essence and they not losing their essence, then maybe. Right. Yo, Skittles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do know. it though. Yeah. Fucking love Skittles. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say the same about myself, but anyway. You don't like Skittles? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, the question that I asked. All oh, right, all right. You just sell your soul, right? To oh, everything. I mean, uh, everything. I <laughs> know, suddenly get, hey, shout out to these guys. They're <laughs> send, selling me face cream. Hey, it's like you gotta pay the bills. Like, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. How much money do you spend on uh, clothes and fashion and swag and sneakers in a month, would you say? Hey, actually, not a lot, but okay, it, it depends. When I'm on a roll, right? <laughs> oh, oh, we want to know. <laughs> when, I, when I'm on a roll, I don't know, it's around five to seven grand. Yo. When, oh, no, no, when I'm on a roll, oh, yeah, okay. it's like seasonal, it's not oh, okay. every month. Bad, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck. bro, five to seven thousand from a quarter of a million is nothing. <laughs> no, nah. five to seven grand. Yeah, but yeah. It's, hard, it's hard for me to I feel spend. You. Mm. Yeah, because. Uh, not many things out there like caught my attention nowadays. Right. So, nowadays, lah. You're, yeah. right, you're right. Yeah. You're right. And I don't. And I don't really want to pay resale for things. So yeah. Like, mm, mm, yeah. Skip that shit. What What would you say if you remember was mm. your biggest bill that you ever paid? Like maybe like at it, one shot. At one shot. At one shot. Mm. Uh. Ooh. At one what, shot. Ooh. And what did you buy? Yeah. <laughs> we want to know. Uh, actually, during MCO. Of course, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> of course. But but it's not streetwear. It's more like much. Like, uh, we uh, wow. Uh, Nintendo Switch to shut your daughter up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, household stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, around eighteen. Eighteen k. Like furniture. Uh, not really furniture. Oh, not really furniture. <laughs> what? what cost eighteen k? Uh, appliances. Okay, more appliances, than one. Yeah, more icons, than one. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Games. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of shopping. Mm. A bit of shoes. Yeah. Okay. It was this man. Right. right not right, bad. Not right. bad. But but it's, but it's true. MCO has brought the spender in all of us, lah. Yeah, especially like fucking Lazada, man. 
Did you buy Lazada? Yeah. They're so efficient, <laughs> way. Oh so efficient. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to order it today. Then tomorrow I get it. I'm like, what the fuck? You yeah. all got time to pack it for me here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Pay my hustling, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, very, very honest. Very appreciative God damn. of that. Um, now, we talk about, we normally talk about uh, your dating, dating life. I love yeah. girls, man. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how long have you been married now? Uh, 18 years. 18 years? Uh, yes. I just celebrated my 18th anniversary, I think, uh, a week ago. Damn. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's yeah. amazing. Okay, now, of course, maybe you can take us back to your younger days when you were still dating around, okay? So, yeah. we want to know, right? What is a first date like with Adli Shairi? If you were to take a girl out? In bed. <laughs> Excuse me, what? don't fuck about really, anyway. Don't fuck about. See, that's why I like the old school guys, bro. No, because I don't like to man. beat around the bush. You know, yeah, some guys, like, hey, I love you, feelings. Hey, no, no, I just want to screw you. <laughs> I mean, I keep it simple, you know. Oh, there we go. I wasn't, yeah. I really I, wasn't. I was not prepared for this shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That makes me feel like, I'm, God damn. I, I waste a lot of time. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, like it's, no game, it's right? wasting time, you know. <laughs> Her time, your time, you know. True. And you miss out a lot of other opportunities. Yeah, then you can just next time go, hey, ada suka, ta ada suka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no need to whine and it's die. It's high, all, high like. risk. Just right? whine and whine, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know, man. Okay. Oh my yeah. God. So now, when you go out with a girl, right? Um, Or, you know, back, back before you, when you were married, is what she's wearing a big deal to you? Like, does she necessarily need to be in the, into the same thing like you, uh, fashion not really. Basically, there are two things that I will look into. First, mm. uh, the ass, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the shoe she wears. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, boy. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't matter whether yeah. it's a sneaker or not, but the shoes to me, right? Because I studied fashion. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you can wear, uh, you can match your shoes with your outfit well. Yeah. 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 Then you're in. Yeah. yeah. So th- you're right. It doesn't have to be sneakers. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It's a very big thing, la, You know. You, uh, I'm sure you've seen thing. like girls like oh from top. Then oh then you look at the shoe. Oh. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Potong yeah. Uh, That one. Oh, Aldo yeah. yeah. man. Aldo <laughs> chip sale, bro. That's a no no. Yeah. Aldo <laughs> more like I'll know. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Lucas. Okay. At least Charles and Keith lah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I think. Uh, Thanks for being honest. Very, is- yeah, very, very honest. Um, I, the last question we already asked you: uh, What are guys wearing these days that you absolutely cannot stand? We already spoke about that earlier. Yeezys. Mm. Um, <laughs> do you like Yeezys? Like, let's just go into it. Uh, How do you feel about Yeezys and Fila disruptors? <laughs> oh, Fila disruptors. <laughs> this of the hate gang. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. To me, it's a nice, comfortable beater. Yeah. Yes. The three fifty. Uh, I'm a bit curious about the Wave Runner. Hey, it's good. Really? Yeah, I really? bought a pair from uh, from Brian Budachin. Really? And it's really fun. It's really nice. One of it has made its way into my rotation. Really? Yeah. Yes. The yeah, 700s, yeah. Super I, nice. I, personally, I feel that that's the best one of all the years. Uh, Excuse me. For now, I think I might agree with mm. you. Uh. It is comfortable, but it's yeah. not something that you wear to flex, uh, If you ask me. Oh yeah, yeah mm. I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. This has become something like like nobody gives a shit that you have yeah. this pair. Like yeah. it's not super limited anymore. And if you have money, you just put it, ah, nah, okay, just give me the Yeezy. It's yeah. easy to find, man. Yeah. Fuck. You so know what, easy to find. So easy. Hey. So easy to find. Yeah. 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 You know what is a fucking flex? The to see fucking Spiridons, man. You know uh, how I was trying to look for a pair, right? Yeah. You know how much a pair of uh, US 5.5 is for you know, producer size? Yeah. Now it's it, it on StockX, right? It's in the 6,000 range ring, uh, ringgit. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> this is the black one or the? No, no, the wheat color. The one. wheat color yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 4,000 to 6,000. That's the range. That's I'm like, range. excuse me <sighs> for this pair. Mm. Yeah. What size? I can ask my- US 5.5. US 5.5. I can ask my plug. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. New friends. <laughs> <laughs> we, I feel feeling uh, now friends. Uh, so spend a lot of money, man. Oh Bunga is a bad one as well. Every time Nike got sale, hey bro, Nike got sale. There's an ACG got sale. Everything got sale, he'll message me, man. What a bastard. <laughs> Bad influence, like, man. Fucker. I mean, it's like helping, you know, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so all guys think like this, man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay. Ali Shari, we are at the end of this podcast, man. Yep. Hey, can you please uh, um, plug yourself before we let you go? I forgot the latest cop. La. What's the latest cop that you- Oh, really yeah. Mean? Oh, my What's God. I'm so cop? sorry. Latest cop, yeah. What, what, what okay, was your- Let me check. Last thing I that have you- I a lease. I know. What do you buy? Spend a lot, man. I didn't buy anything. I bought uh, from Nike sale. I uh, bought two, what? two pairs of air tailwinds. Two pairs? Yeah, you know why? Because they're 200 bucks each. Really? Tailwind Let me falls. guess, you bought the black ones? No. And no? No. White and white and platinum. Okay. And I bought uh, wheat. Ah, uh, okay. The wheat one's nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm. 
Mine. Oh uh, my god, he's got a list. Last night I bought the undefeated cup. In stores. <laughs> where? <laughs> From where? From undefeated lah. Oh it's, yeah. it's a cup, like the yeah. mug. No, no, it's like a plastic cup. Don't okay. ask, don't ask me why. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! I don't judge. I have, I, I have a human made cup. Okay. <laughs> oh my I god! I don't judge you. Okay. Uh, I just think it's okay. cute. Okay. Okay, that's the latest cup. <laughs> there the we go. Oh, does it come in a metal straw? Or no. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Metal, uh, metal straw. Sorry, this one change, it changes color. Oh <laughs> don't ask. No, uh, I don't need to know. I won't ask you why. I will not judge you because I have stupid things like that. Too. And then uh, yesterday also, I bought the Chinatown Market uh, KK slider. Have you seen the t-shirt? No. Oh, dude. No. Dude, uh, no. What? Dude. Excuse me? <laughs> I, I hope your wife is not listening to this. Uh, <laughs> like she's not watching this on YouTube. Uh, she's going to go ransack through your purchases. Dude, it's no so... Way. Are you fucking kidding me? They remove it. No. Chinatown yeah, yeah. Club. I, I show you. China no. Market. Chinatown China Market. Market. Chinatown Club. Okay. I, why am I doing this podcast? Sorry, I know. I have to, I have to see. This is very I know, important. I know, I know. You guys do your thing, lah. don't worry. I'll just be oh sitting. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, KK Slider. But, uh, oh my God. And then, I, why can't <laughs> what I is that? Let me, have, let me see. Don't ask. It's a, it's a, Animal it's a, Crossing. It's Animal Crossing thing. Oh, okay, okay. Are right, you fucking right. kidding me? Okay. In data dude. <laughs> Just Google image. Uh, oh. Chinatown Market, KK Slider. Oh, oh my God. Master of the Nips. <laughs> All right, well, um, <laughs> well, while they are looking at that, um, I would like to thank our guest today, Ali oh Shairi, for hanging out with us here on the Fashion Week podcast. Uh, Ali, while Lucas is uh, getting wet. <laughs> Never uh, mind, fuck it. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plug yourself, man. With your social media, on that, where can we follow you? Check out your cool Lego work. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Adli Shairi, A D L Y S Y A I R I. And then if you are curious about what Thinker Studio is, you can check out our YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah. And then in June, I'll be putting out my book. Right. Uh, wow. Nice. Yeah. What is it about? Uh, the book uh, is called um, Psycho Agogo. Uh, what? 100 Lost, uh, Lost Music of Malaya and Singapore. Nice. Whoa. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 So that yeah. one, it comes with a CD mm. uh, of music made in Malaysia from the year 64 to 74. Wow. wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And also, uh, you guys did a collaboration with Pestle Mortar not too long ago before the MCO. <laughs> yeah. Or yes. During the MCO. During the MCO. Yeah. 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 You can still check it out, right? It's still available online. No. Oh, no, no more. Done no already. Yeah. 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 Too late. Too late. You snooze. You yeah. lose. You snooze. You lose. Oh my god! I just found it. <laughs> still, still looking <laughs> oh at the T-shirt. Oh my god! Animal Crossing. Yo. <laughs> yeah. It sold out already. Apparently, they had this before. Have you seen this? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, guys, you know what? Let's wrap this up. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, hey, thanks for having me. Ali, yeah, thank you very much. much. It was a good session. Uh, that was Ali Shairi. Um, yep, yep. You can listen to our podcast, of course, on Apple uh, Podcasts and Spotify. Yep. We are also on YouTube, so please subscribe to our channel. Yep. Or uh, Instagram, you know? Yes, correct. At yeah. the Fashion Week Podcast. That's W E A K, okay? Uh, yeah, that's it, man. I'm Arnold. I'm Lucas N O T L U C H S. And I'm we'll on. see. And Oh, yeah, and this is uh, Adli Shairi, <laughs> <laughs> our esteemed guest for today. Sorry, we cut you off. But uh, we'll We'll see if next week we have a uh, we'll put out an episode or not because uh, it really depends on whether Lucas's guard <laughs> <laughs> allows us to come into the apartment because just now Ali and I had trouble yeah. coming upstairs. Yeah, you can just say you are your mates or you know contractors lah. Yeah, you, you can pass pass away. <laughs> I'll lend you a mop, okay? <laughs> oh God, yeah. We'll see you next time, baby. The 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 the, the, the fashion week. The fashion. Wow.